What's up guys? My name is Steven. I handle all manner of things at the shop. Today we're here at Rentec checking in on a few projects that we're finishing up with and we're also going to be stopping by Ferrari and Lamborghini of Palm Beach checking in on a couple more cars as well as getting ready for the Miami concourse. So checking in, we're going to have Patrick's going to be giving us a big tour. He is our service manager who's been great with us and exceptionally helpful with dealing with the difficulties with these cars. Uh, the challenge with these cars is finding the parts. So with the early AMGs, is a lot of them were borderline prototype race parts and development where they didn't have the manufacturing and engineering backing that Mercedes had. So when we run into issues, a lot of the stuff has to be custom made. And obviously with shipping delays and everything else, the projects have taken longer. Good. Tell us about this and how this is, what this is to begin with. Uh, basically an SL74, one of the cars we built back in the day. Stroker engine, interior, exterior modifications. So for me, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to these cars. And this was a car that I tried to chase personally. And this car features a lot of cool, unique options. So this actually has the carbon fiber hood where they grafted in a, a vent for the larger radiator off of an S-Class. This features the unique titanium colored intake manifold that was distinctive to the Rentec uh, intake manifolds. They also featured cool little carbon fiber ducts as well there. See the Rentec big brake kit that they feature here that not all the cars got back in the 90s, as well as the period correct OZ racing wheels. This car in particular also received custom bird's eye maple trim and custom leather interior that was all done in period. This is one of the things that I enjoy about these cars is each one of them is a little bit different. It just depends on the owner's taste and what was available as the cars developed, different options became available. So this is actually one of our projects that's currently in restoration. This is a true USA built SEC AMG wide body, six liter four cam documented with paperwork as original and real as it gets. What's cool about this car is it's a USA car that features all metal bodywork. So as you can see here, there's a two cars next to each other where there's slight variations between a Gen 1 and a Gen 2 car. So this is the USA specific body kit where you can see slight differences in the body panels and some trim where they didn't feature the later options because AMG was closed down in the United States. This car is featured in 040 black and compared to the standard 199 blue black metallic that you normally see, but it's an interesting color on this car. So we're going through complete rebuild on the motor, all the suspension bushings gone through. What's cool about this is it's actually, this is the original paint. It still needs to be dialed in and we've got a little bit more with squeaky peats to work on to dial it in. But was really cool about being able to save the original finishes on this car and preserve its originality. So this is actually a cutaway design showcasing the AMG uh, four valve cylinder heads. And then if you look behind, this is actually their two valve cylinder heads. So one of the cool things is how AMG took the original design of the two valve heads and threw everything away and then designed this engine back here, which is all engineered to work within stock componentry. And this is the legendary AMG 4 cam motor. Uh, very few of these engines survived and they're radical engines that really doubled the horsepower of the stock cars as well as retaining the stock components. A really temperamental, kind of finicky engine to get right, but that's why we're here. This is a car that actually came out from New York. It was a, a great friend of ours and kind of known in the Benz community. SL60, so this is the 119 chassis. I believe this car is a 91, 92, if I remember correctly but it's in the middle of restoration where we're really going through and dialing it and making it perfect. Soft top redone, this car actually has finally got the wood back. You can see all the details that are really going into making this car sharp, including making the TV in the screen, in the dashboard, fully functional as well. Close to 400 horsepower, roughly thereabouts, and just a great car to drive and enjoy. So continuing on, this is actually our hammer that we are in the middle of restoration that is now finally running. Uh, this car was a car that we pulled out of Monaco that belonged to a famous Formula One driver and will now be joining an incredible collection here in Miami. This car has been a long time coming, really focusing on getting all the details right for this car, but finally running, which is a huge relief. So what we do is we take them off, we have special adhesive, yep. and we make the door panels nice. 
Do you want me to do that? Because I can make this car look a whole lot better. No, I think that's... Definitely. Or are you guys going to paint this car? I think the customer wanted to leave as much original paint as we okay. could. Okay. Uh, we went through the whole car, suspension overhauled, engine out. They're known for leaking, but all the leaks have been resealed, which is a massive undertaking in and of itself. Why is the hammer so much more than a standard SEC? You can see how much they had to actually gusset the firewall to even fit this engine that wasn't designed to begin with to be there. But lots of little details, if you look in here, to see all the, uh, all the fabrication that had to be done to make the car fit. Everything down to the custom subframe, the mounts to the differential, lots of extra details that went into these cars that the S-Class did. So there's lots of details on this motor where you can see the later valve cover breathers. But these were handmade to begin with, and then you, they, as the design evolved, they had a lots of little shape changes, and you can tell early versus later designs based on those little details. A couple of little things to tighten up, we can vacuum leaks and seals and stuff, but as the engine runs in and cycles, uh, things can be tightened up and snug down. Uh, it's an exceptional job overall. So this car was running, but it wasn't running very well. A lot of these cars suffered from a lot of deferred maintenance as time went on, but to have these guys just support us and have seen these cars when they were new is a huge relief and helps us accomplish the things that we do here. So looking at this car was actually fun to see. This car started life as a crank window car, but then got converted to a power window car, which makes sense because they gutted the whole car. So they started with the base donor car with no options to begin with. When you're doing you know, a six figure in the 80s customization, you wanna keep your costs as low as possible with the donor car. But not all the cars are the same. This car actually features the cool Recaro CSC seats with all the buttons, which is a really rare option to see on these cars as well. But really coming together nicely. This car featured a terribly hacked together aftermarket stereo and all that's being rectified. So here's a very rare opportunity to see two hammers actually next to each other. Uh, this car started life. It might be one of the highest mileage hammers that ever existed. This car was the factory prototype. So this is the car that started it all. This is a car that curated, sold many years ago, but it was the, the road and track cover car. This was the development car. This was the car that did everything. So this car actually featured numerous developments and updates as the project developed. Whereas the car that's over here, this car was a strictly a German built production car, but this car has got a really cool history to it as well. checked it out and a lift and everything so in the next couple days I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna see what it needs. Always good catching up with our friends at Rentec, making exceptional progress on the projects that we have here and looking forward to seeing the Silver Hammer at the Miami Concourse. But as we continue on, we are heading to Ferrari and Lambeau, Palm Beach. Hey guys, we are here at Ferrari Palm Beach. This is R355 GTS. It is a factory six-speed manual car, and it is in for a pre-purchase inspection, which is something that we do with all of our cars whenever we're acquiring it, is checking the car over thoroughly by an independent inspector. A lot of times there's lots of things that are unique to each specific chassis that you look for as common problems with each specific car that we like to make sure of when we buy a car. And we strongly encourage our customers and clients to do the same whenever they purchase a car. So right now we're getting a compression test and leak down. Uh, these cars are very maintenance heavy cars. You do have to pull the drivetrain out to do the belt and the other major components on these cars and having a proper indication of engine health and compression, like leak down numbers as well, are a great indication of engine help uh, when buying a car. Okay, so we are here at our third and final stop for the day, Lamborghini Palm Beach. We've got two cars that we were checking out. We have the Murcielago SV that is behind us, and we have a 98 Diablo SV that is yellow as well. And a couple of other cars that they have of ours. We have a great relationship with them and they've been taking care of us for years. 
a lot of times that we're so backed up in our own shop that it makes sense to send stuff to the dealer. They do have a proprietary computer where they can read certain data from the car that we just don't because it's a factory computer. But that's the attention to detail that we really try to put into all the cars is making sure that everything meets factory specifications. So let's go in and see what they got for us. So what do we have here? This is a Diablo GT ECU. Now, how much would this fine piece of uh, carbon and plastic piece set us back? It's $9,300, so directly from Lamborghini. Cool. Here today we have a gorgeous USA 98 Diablo SE and this car is here for valve cover leaks. Uh, a lot of times you, you will see some sweating and some leaking but right now it's not, not super uncommon on these cars and we're in the process of correcting the aftermarket exhaust and fitting two original exhaust tips back to the car. Uh, if you will also notice, the car does wear uh, BF Goodrich tires. Uh, it's not uncommon on the rear wheel drive cars. It's not as detrimental as it would to a four wheel drive car. So on the four wheel drive cars, we do have to run Pirelli tires because the aspect ratio of the tires and they will put excess stress on the differentials. Uh, usually whenever we sell a car, we only sell them with the Pirellis to be as close to original as possible. All these little details add to the total package of fixing the car and presenting it in as close to original as we can. Let's go look at the other Murcielago SV that is our car as well that's getting a look over. It is actually the USA Press car, which we believe we might have something cool to show you as a gift from Palm Beach to us. So you guys might remember this car from our previous video, the Murcielago Masterclass with Ed Goldium. We'll link up here. Uh, this is a car that we are getting service done before it goes off to its new owner. A lot of times when you're looking at inspections on uh, E-Gear cars or F1 cars, you want to get a good indication of clutch health. So that is done by achieving a clutch snap, which lets us know how much material is left on that clutch to go there. And this is a, another service that is provided by the dealer. So that's one of the reasons why this is the car is here currently. So before the car leaves, it's gonna get a full fluid service and alignment and just check over of condition of health. Make sure you know, no hose clamps are loose, not leaking any coolant or anything else like that. Make sure the AC is topped off and all the lights and everything work so it, it'll pass any inspection before they go out of here. As you can see, it's not just a, a one-man operation. It's a true team effort in combinations with relationships with our vendors and trying to be as authentic as possible is the utmost important with us. And sometimes telling the stories of all the work that goes into the cars is half of the battle and showcasing the elements that go through and bringing these cars back to life. In a strange turn of events, to show how small the world is, there's an interesting car behind me that we need to go take a look at, which you guys might remember from a previous video that we'll put up here, famous Murcielago, Deal Gone Wrong. It's funny how small the world works and a lot of cars in these communities uh, will end up back in the same place. So you can tell here by looking at this car, this car has been painted, if you guys didn't already watch the video, but there is no marker lights, either the USA or the Euro car, as denoted by the yellow car. An interesting car, and it's kind of coincidental to see that this car is here. So All right, so right now we have actually have a cool gift. This is the exact car in that picture. So this car being the Mercy SV press car, this is the global dealership uh, press material that they gave all to the dealers. And it is really cool to see the actual car in the factory press material. Thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, uh, getting to be kind of behind the camera as well as showcasing what I do on a day-to-day -day basis and having you guys join us for today. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let us know in the comments if you enjoyed kind of seeing the behind the scenes stuff and you want to see more like this. Thanks guys.